The anticipation is crazy. You do tend to count down the days. When she's there, she's like probably the only person in the world that can take my mind off absolutely anything, no matter how bad things are. She's like a force. I have like a lot of stuff going on at home as well, like my family and her music were just kind of like an escape to listen to. When people become a celebrity, they seem to lose their human self. She's not like that. And it makes you think, you know, anything's possible. This girl from an island, Barbados, I look where she's now. She had a dream as well, and she worked towards it. And it just proves anything is possible if you put your mind to it. I can do it as well. Everything that I have acquired, everything that I've accomplished, I really owe it to my fans. It's really them that made that happen. So, you know, they mean a lot to me. My fans, they mean everything to me. There are some fans she does recognize and see all the time. And if she does, she'll give a wave or a hug. The eye contact, the hello, the highs, the, the waves, everything's worth it. People think we're crazy. When I'm traveling, I can still have a relationship with my fans, I can communicate with them directly. But then there are songs where she comes down off the stage to go around and gives everyone like a high five. When you see her and she's acknowledged you, you feel like you've been recognized. And she knows that her fans like accept her how she is, so anybody else doesn't matter to her. I love getting feedback from my fans. They're honest. You want to hear what they're thinking, what they think about your stuff. I discovered Rihanna, it was on the TV, um, and I just saw, hey, Mr. DJ. I'm like, I like this song, I can get with it. She shows all of herself to the public, all different aspects. She's just like a regular person. She's just like me. Well, we're all the same as her, to be honest. That's why she's got so many fans, and that's why everyone loves her, because she's, she's so much like us. But I think that she, says what she wants to say and what she believes and what comes from the heart. Rihanna wants to be Rihanna. Rihanna doesn't want to be a role model. Rihanna doesn't want to do things for other people. She wants to do things for herself. And that's why the persona is wrong of her. But it's still a huge inspiration for someone who's trying to really make it to the top. She dresses the way she feels, when she's in the mood, and she kind of carries it all off. And as an artist, it kind of inspires me to kind of be, to be myself. Whatever you want, whatever you really love, whatever makes you happy, that's it. Like, it just has to work for you. I want to make my parents and family proud. I'd be the first one in my family to go to university. I want to make a mark on the world some way, somehow. Whether it's in media, film, some way, somehow, I want to make a mark. Well, I want to get into web design, I think maybe to do with graphic design, something like that. I just want to achieve my goal of becoming a doctor. Whatever it is that you're truly passionate about, you would automatically put 100% into that and it would never feel like work. You can't give up. It doesn't matter if it feels like the world is fighting against you or someone is trying to put you down. You still just need to go for it. Personally, I want to just be me, to be honest. I don't really want to live for anyone else. I want to live for myself. I've got no boundaries. There is no boundaries in art, anyway. I think that beauty is whatever you want to look at. I draw inspiration from everywhere. Different cultures, different textures, different visuals, looking at different buildings, different cities. Yeah, we're all individuals, but we come together as one through Rihanna. We all love Rihanna as, as, a, as a group.
Rihanna's taught me how to be um, a strong female, be yourself, don't be afraid to take risks. I see a, a girl around my age who has worked really hard to get where she is. She's taught me from the outside I've seen, if you work hard, you'll achieve your dream. You just kind of got to push forward. It's kind of like a fighting spirit. If you want more, you know, you'll do more. I'm a firm believer in you make time for who and what you want. We don't have to apologize for being ourselves. We don't have to apologize for being normal. We are unapologetic in our own rights. <laughs>